Peter Munga from Nat is in studio. Peter Munga, good morning. Good hey, morning to you. Uh, have you softened up your stance? No, we can't soften up. What is happening? Um, I don't know why media likes getting it wrong. I have never understood. <laughs> uh, somebody, somebody pays this media. I think sometimes media <laughs> no, 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 is... We're, we're not paid. Money is poor. Uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, yes. uh, you see, um, it's just the language that uh, the media uses. You yes. know, when you soften up stance, it means for the first time, yes. you want to negotiate with the government. So that means you want to be listened to. The government yeah, wants to listen to It's not to the you. first time. So uh, it, it, it's open that indeed th th there need to be a consensus. Yes, That's yes. why media, maybe the, the language is what you don't understand. The person we don't want, yeah. we didn't want, yeah. or we didn't want his attitude is called Magoha. Okay. The way he spoke and the yeah. way he talked about us. Bulldozing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just made us just, you know, feel very bad. Okay. But generally, Nat always has had discussions with government. Mm -hmm. Nat has been here before we were independence. We were here in 1957. That's okay. when we were founded. Okay. So we've been here before this this government. Mm -hmm. We know these things. We've been in this. We've been in all curriculum reviews and reforms. Yeah. Nat was in the Mac, in the Ominde Commission of 1967. Mm -hmm. Nat was in the Mackay Commission of 1984. Mm -hmm. Nat has been in in. Uh, in Douglas or the Ambo thing in in mm -hmm. the year 2012, which mm -hmm. which brought about this thing that we are talking about, but was voted out. Yeah, Nat was among the people who voted it out mm -hmm. because we knew it cannot work in Kenya. Okay, so we've not softened our stand. What mm -hmm. Nat has said is, first of all, let us talk. We want to talk, mm -hmm. and we have always been ready to talk okay. because the people are talking about education. The fellow who keeps saying that the train has left the station. Yeah. he's not a teacher. The train can only leave the station when a teacher is seated as the captain of the train. Teacher is the stakeholder number one in a curriculum review. Teacher is stakeholder number two. Teacher is stakeholder number three. Teacher is a stakeholder. There's no other stakeholder. Magoha is a dentist. He's not a stakeholder. He's a minister of the government appointed. We don't know for how we, which category they used to appoint him. So we are telling him we can teach you, Magoha, how a curriculum is implemented. We are the teachers. I studied curriculum development. I studied education foundation at Kenyatta University for, for, for three years. I am more qualified in education matters than Magoha is. Okay. Now. A professor knows too much about too little. <laughs> and too little about too much. Okay. That's how, what a prof, how we can define a professor okay. like Magoha. Okay. He now. knows about surgery. He has now. no idea now. what we this. are talking about when now. we talk now. about now. curriculum now. In, in, this, in this country. Uh, look at this situation where by now. You've uh, suggested at least some uh, sporadic um, kind of progress in, in, in different years now. What do you think about it? It means now there's some good um, kind of a, a feel about now that, you know, at the end of the day, this is a proposal where by now, at least now, Teachers need to be taken slowly by slowly. That's yes. a proposal. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, actually, we are saying, and uh, you know, yesterday, I, I believe you, uh, I'm sure even in your footage, you have the, yesterday the Senate sat, mm -hmm. and for many minutes they discussed about the CBC curriculum. Yeah. And we are very happy what they were saying is, what we are saying, mm -hmm. actually, what you are just asking me, they were saying that these teachers were trained in the 844 system. A new curriculum, Professor Ongeri was one time a minister of education, yeah, and nowadays he's a senator. Yeah. He said, when he was there, and when they were implementing a curriculum, teachers were the first people to consider. Yes. Because the new CBC curriculum is not just about the structure. It's about the pedagogy. Pedagogy is the teaching methodology. Yeah. Yeah. So the teaching methodology in CBC is different. It is like this. It's like uh, me, I've been a drama teacher. Mm -hmm. When you are a drama teacher, there are two ways you can do. A, you can write a play. Mm -hmm. You can do a play whereby your own students, you know, you, you write a script and you give your students to, yeah, to, yeah. to act. You yeah. tell them, you will be the devil, mm -hmm. you will be Jesus, you will be Satan. Then they, you know, they start acting like that. But there's a way that you, you can come <laughs> okay. up with a play. Okay. It's called an improvised play. <laughs> it's called an improvised play. So what okay, happens here is this. Areas, okay. yes. So okay. what happens is this, as a teacher, you come up with a, you tell them, you guys, I want to have a play. This play is going to be about, uh, say, Koenange Street. So the kids now come up and say, me, I'll be so and so. So the kids are leading you. You are in the behind. The, the kids are teaching you, Mwalimu, this is what happens on Koenange Street. Because Mwalimu doesn't even know. So this is what CBC curriculum is all about. It is the teacher taking a back seat and facilitating the child okay. to, 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 to take over. So we are not trained. We are not ready. We don't know what to do. We are 844 products. We are proud okay. products of 844. 
we are happy about 844. Okay. Then somebody is trying to make us change mm -hmm. and teach CBC, which we don't know. Okay. Now, what's the situation on the ground? Because, <laughs> okay, <laughs> giving hilarious examples, you know. <laughs> anyway, so, um, situation on the ground. You know, yes. when you talk about public schools. Yes. Let, let's take an example. Yes. Um, maybe in Malindi. Yes. Maybe in, for Kilifi. example, Kilifi. Yes. In Busia. Yeah. In Kamega, Nyeri. Yeah. Yes. These public schools that really need attention, do you think they are um, handling the new curriculum or they're still in the old one? In fact, there's nothing like new curriculum in our schools. Don't even but, talk but about some schools in Kilifi and Malindi and yeah. Busia. Yeah. The other day, a crew, and I'll urge our crew here in, uh, at uh, Switch TV to just visit a school across here. You just go to Kibera. There's a wonderful primary school that used to perform very well called Olympic Primary. Yeah. A crew went there and recorded as the key standard three class whereby a teacher was in class mm -hmm. and this teacher had 105 kids in her class. Wow. One or five. My wow. friend, that's not a small number. That, that's a whole lot of class. Yes. Then this teacher had four books. Now, guess what? Mm -hmm. These four books were not from the school. The school or the ministry are not provided. Mm -hmm. Some parents in Kibera had given their children to go to school, had done some effort and bought some books. So this teacher was using books she had borrowed from students, from her learners. Now, this very crew that took these pictures also went now to another school in uh, Lavington, uh, a private school. Mm -hmm. And this school had 24 children, had three teachers in that class, had books, had crayons, had colors, had all those things. And apart from that, they had piano, they had trumpets, they had all those things for the kids to, and some playing things, you know. CBC is about playing games. CBC curriculum is a child discovering himself or herself as they play. <laughs> it's a very use, actually, it <laughs> waters down what we have done all this. 844 yeah. was the best. <laughs> and we are trying to tell Kenyans, Kenyans, don't do that kind of thing. 844 has produced us. Okay. Some of the best writers in this world are 844. Okay. 844 was accepted in the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. 844 was accepted. Right now as an 844 student, you can go under what Equity Bank calls wings to fly. Yeah, yeah. You are taken to a Stanford mm -hmm. University yeah, in, in the US. Mm -hmm. You are taken everywhere. Yeah. One of our best products in 844 mm -hmm. have one great things. The best global teacher in the world mm -hmm. is an 844 product mm -hmm. and teaching 844 curriculum. Mm -hmm. So we are saying like this. Mm -hmm. Give us a summative report. What is so wrong with 844 that now we must go for CBC? Okay. Now, look look at Professor Magoha's uh, yes. CS uh, for Education yes, stance. Uh, he's, uh, he's trying to bulldoze. Yes. You know, um, at the end of the day, he said he's known for his principles, yeah. and his principles do and work he never, anywhere he, he never go back. And he never goes back, yeah. actually. Yeah. Now, um, as teachers, you know, you're the majority. Yeah. Um, the, the training regime, yes. what have you proposed? We are proposing a training in the college level mm -hmm. for CBC. Okay. Not a three-day training in some yeah, school. Which was happening. Uh, that yeah. which happened last April mm -hmm. and which we boycotted and some of our teachers have been interdicted. Mm -hmm. And we are in court and the court has declared itself on it and mm -hmm. said, you cannot interdict teachers who are just exercising their right. Okay. Anyway, so what's going to happen is this. Training should be done from the college. Let me say this. In Finland, where CBC has worked, mm -hmm. and the only place CBC has worked properly is Finland. Mm -hmm. And I think bits of Singapore. Because it failed in Malaysia, it failed in South Africa. A, a nursery school teacher, an ECD teacher, mm -hmm. early childhood teacher, yeah. must have a master's mm -hmm. degree mm -hmm. in Finland. Okay. Yani the teaching pedagogy, the way they teach those children, mm -hmm. is like God. You know, mm -hmm. CBC makes you a small God. <laughs> you are able to take the talent of a child. Okay. Now, in a school like, say, Olympic in Kibera, yeah. I have 105 children in my class. In class. You, 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 you want me to... Yeah. You, I yeah. can't identify their talent. Yeah, it's true. You know, this is a, a system whereby I need to know this gentleman will be a journalist. Yeah. Yeah. The way he talks, the way he dresses well, mm -hmm. the way he's smart. Mm -hmm. So I start modeling you mm -hmm. right from early childhood yeah. to be a journalist. Yeah. You can imagine. Mm -hmm. Now, me, I don't even know, as a teacher, I don't even know what is journalism. <laughs> I never trained. I, my, my training was at uh, Kagumo <laughs> or uh, Kericho or Eregi TTC. Okay. I did a P1 course. Okay. I don't know those things. So you are telling me now to produce a journalist <laughs> from ECD level. And you can't. Uh, surely, even I don't know what is journalism. <laughs> I don't even know what that thing is. So what we are telling the government is this. If you want us to teach CBC, 
retrain us, not train us for two days yeah, yeah, yeah. and give us some tea mm. and mandazi and mm. then take a photograph with Magoha and say, we have trained these fellows, now they are teachers. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Train us, take okay. us back to KU mm -hmm. and give us a master's degree yeah. in, 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 education. in education. Then we can come back okay. now okay. and teach CBC. Now, that's a very valid point, actually. Yeah. Now, uh, looking at the training uh, modules, because at the end of the day, uh, the training modules need to be very, like, it's a, it's a different curriculum also by itself. Totally. It's a curriculum by itself. Yes. The CBC in school, it's a curriculum by yes. itself. You going back to school, yes. it's a curriculum it's by also, itself. Yes. Yeah. So, who decides your curriculum now? Now, there's a, there's a body, uh, a body which we, we just want to take to the ombudsman in the next few days and uh, <laughs> scrap it off. It's called KICD, Kenya okay. Institute of Curriculum Development. Mm -hmm. It's based somewhere near Pangani. Mm -hmm. It's led by a guy called Juan, uh, Dr. Juan. The problem with this KICD, they have failed to give direction. Re recently, I was with one of them on uh, one of the certain TV stations, and we just dressed him down because we told him, so you are telling us that you want a new curriculum. Do even parents know what this new curriculum is all about? Mm -hmm. Have you called up a national conference to discuss it? Yeah. You see, even you as journalists, as a media house, you need to be invited officially by KICD to KICD itself yeah. and taken through what this curriculum is all about. Mm -hmm. Because this thing is for everybody. You see, even the other day when they launched the new notes, you heard what the, the fellow, the, the governor said. He said, we are also going to media houses to train them on what what these new notes are, uh, <coughs> entail. Mm -hmm. That is how you do this thing called public participation. Mm -hmm. You go out. Even IBC, when they are doing the elections thing, when IBC wants to, to start sensitizing people about election, they come to this media house. You don't even invite them. Yeah. You will find them outside here, mm -hmm. waiting to come and talk about yeah. IBC. Mm -hmm. K K KICD mm -hmm. are waiting for us to go and ask them, what is this new curriculum all about? Okay. They need to come out. They need to be printing in media houses. They need to buy space in the newspapers. Okay. They need to be coming here mm -hmm. and educating Kenyans, not just teachers. Mm -hmm. Because the new curriculum also involves parents. Yeah. Yeah. We have parents who are... And then this is the worst part of it. This new curriculum does not address children who are deaf. The, 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 what we call... Uh, the, 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 should I use... Uh, I don't know which word I should use. Special living with the, yeah, special yeah. needs. Yeah, That's sure. the word I think. Mm -hmm. Those ones living with special needs. Mm -hmm. You need to come and educate a parent. If you have a child with a special need, mm -hmm. for example, the child is deaf or the child cannot, is, cannot talk, mm -hmm. how, do you, how does this new curriculum fit in? Yes, true that. Yeah? So mm -hmm. they're not even telling have us. Have they considered that? They've not. Mm -hmm. And that's what was discussed yesterday in the mm -hmm. Senate. Mm -hmm. so the, one of the senators uh, who is living with the special uh, uh, needs mm -hmm. said it. Mm -hmm. This new curriculum does not address yeah. the special needs child okay. in class. Okay. It is for children mm -hmm. who have parents, mm -hmm. In Nairobi, like mm -hmm. a friend of mine who comes here called him Zumbi, mm -hmm. that's the kind of fellows who, who, who this curriculum is for rich people who have children in very big schools. I wish he had come here. Today <laughs> I would have told him off. Anyway, he'll come here next time. I believe next week he'll be here. I'll call you back. <laughs> now, um, <clears throat> let's go back to uh, the aspect of now you guys accepting the CBC. What do you need? What do you need? Like, you see now you have, to, you have to lay it down. Eh? Yes. What needs to be done? Yes. From training you've mentioned, yeah. and now time and the needs. Uh, you have asked a good question. Actually, that's why the newspapers got it wrong when they said we've, we've softened. Mm -hmm. Because we said... We have put some, some they call them, uh, you know, what we need yeah. uh, before we start talking yeah. about CBC. Yeah. Number one, we want them to train teachers, okay. as you've mentioned. Okay, training teachers. Number one. two, mm -hmm. they have to go through something called a cessation of paper. Make, legalize this yeah. thing. Yeah. My brothers and, my, and viewers, mm -hmm. this new curriculum has not been gazetted. Okay. It has not gone through parliament to be given what we call as you know a special notice green light actually. yes mm -hmm. the parliament has not budgeted for it you know anything in this country that is done has a budget that budget is only done with one institution mm -hmm. called government parliament you go to parliament as a minister you tell them the parliamentarians what this thing is all about yeah. then they make it law they gazette yeah. It has not gone through something called a commission, a commission of inquiry to find out if we need this kind of uh, curriculum or not. Sure. That's why we're talking about the Ominde Commission, which mm -hmm. came up with seven, the, the system that me I went through, I'm a mm -hmm. bit old, mm -hmm. seven, uh, six, mm -hmm. then three in the university. Mm -hmm. okay. Then Mackay Commission came up with eight for four. Mm -hmm. President Moy, God bless that old man, whatever he is. Mm -hmm. He respected teachers. This man respected teachers, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. 
There's no time we teach us. Even if he's saying, wang, 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 he'll call us, come, come, come to the state house. I'm close to Dongo, come, 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 come. What do you want to eat? What, not really what do you want to eat, but what do you... <laughs> what is, maybe, maybe people will get me wrong. What do you want us to do? You know when you say eat, <laughs> Kenyans will think that not we are about eating. Okay. okay. So let me say this. Be before you proceed, uh, yes. let's just take a short break. <laughs> before we go and eat. Uh, <laughs> let's take a short break. Now when you come back, he'll proceed with the requirements. Because now, um, not as saying they haven't sorted up the stance, but still they have their uh, needs that the government needs to put in place for them now to be part of that, the CBC. Now all that coming to you after a short break. Right, welcome back to Morning Live. Now, uh, Peter Amunga from NAT is in the main studio and the discussion is all about the uh, new competency-based curriculum. And according to him, no soft stance has been taken with the government. They just need the demand settled and he was elaborating more on the demand. So you're proceeding with this. And uh, yes. yeah, you are at number three. Yeah, number yeah. three, structures. Yeah. Yes. If we need to push this new curriculum, we must equip our schools. Mm -hmm. If there are no structures in our schools, we cannot go anywhere. Okay. We saw a picture that was doing rounds on social media, mm -hmm. sorry, mm -hmm. where a school students were sitting on stones and flood waters yeah. were yeah, was all over in the classroom. Yeah. So we are saying, first of all, equip our classes. Mm -hmm. Then number four, reduce the sizes of our classes. Yeah. CBC curriculum cannot work with the type of classrooms that we have right now yeah. in our public schools. Yeah. We have 105, uh, 200 in one class with one teacher. Mm -hmm. That cannot work. So we are saying, Reduce. CBC requires that you have 25 mm -hmm. and below. Mm -hmm. And the private schools are trying to do that. Okay. And that's why you are, we are saying this CBC curriculum is like it's killing public schools. Mm -hmm. Because when you are a, a parent and you discover what's happening in public schools, and you see a private school, you'd rather take your child to a private school. Okay. And you see in that manner, you are killing public schools. Okay. Then the other thing we are talking about is recruit more teachers. You cannot run this curriculum without teachers. The number of teachers we have right now, we have a shortfall of teachers in, in this country. And it makes it worse when Teacher Service Commission interdicts teachers who are complaining about this new curriculum. Senator Mutula Kilonzo asked yesterday in the Senate, when you interdict teachers, because they have used to teach, teach this new CBC, are you going to employ mechanics to teach CBC? Whom do you want to... to in fact, TSC should be begging teachers. Mm -hmm. The government should be talking to us very nicely buying us soda and mandazi and telling us please go and teach okay but when they interdict us then who will teach okay that's a very good question now uh, what's the effect of the teachers who are addicted oh yeah uh, the teachers who have been addicted it's a very sad situation mm -hmm. these teachers have been interdicted and interestingly in some school in kajiado in a place called moru it's a division mm -hmm. they interdicted from one small division mm -hmm. 58 teachers okay because the training was very far. Mm -hmm. It had rained. So most of those teachers could not travel. Mm -hmm. It's not that they were even boycotting. Okay. They just could not travel. Mm -hmm. Now what happened, the TSC director in that county just decided to interdict 58 teachers. So there are schools right now as we speak now, this is a, sec a whole month has gone by, they have no teacher. Wow. From the head teacher Interesting. to to every mm -hmm. then there's no teacher, deputy mm -hmm. and the the staff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let, let's talk about structures. You know, uh, yeah. you, you mentioned <coughs> budget. Yeah. And after budget, you also uh, talked about the issue of even uh, the networking issues. Yes. KICD. Yes. Now traversing <coughs> through now um, even uh, the remote areas in this country. Yes. Now, w w what do you think needs to be done? Because um, parliamentary decision, budgeting, training of teachers. You've mentioned all these things. Yes. Now, at the end of the day. When all these things are done, the structures are put in place now, where will we start? Um, I highly doubt if those kind of things can be done in our lifetime. But what I want to say is this. Government doesn't have this kind of money. We are borrowing. Okay. We are on a lot of loans. Sure. CBC requires $365 billion. That's what C.S. Amina told us. C.S. Amina said, if we have to roll out CBC curriculum, we need $365 billion, which we don't have. I mean, I left the other day, so I don't know where the government has, has now certainly gotten money with Magoha to roll out three and, uh, this kind of curriculum. So what you are asking is a good question. You are asking, if all these things are done, where do we begin? If it's done, then we, as not we are saying, fine, 
Let us now go to CBC. Let the economy improve. Let parents be sensitized to know what this CBC curriculum is all about. Mm -hmm. Let legislation be done and the law passed so that we do something that's not illegal. Mm -hmm. We do something that's legal. Mm -hmm. Let's remove Okiom Tata from court because as we speak, Okiom Tata is in court to, to oppose this thing. Okay. Let us ensure that schools have structures to handle it. Okay. We will teach okay. and train us and take our teachers back to college, mm -hmm. pay for it, train us for two, three years, mm -hmm. then take, bring us back now to teach the new curriculum. What are the TTCs teaching now? They are teaching it for four curriculum. Wow. So okay. you see, you are telling somebody to come and uh, teach a CBC. All, in fact, that's a very good question and which was raised also in parliament. Mm -hmm. The TTCs, as we speak, the teachers training colleges, mm -hmm. including Kenyatta University, mm -hmm. Moe University, mm -hmm. which are training teachers, mm -hmm. are teaching using the methodology of 844. 844. They're not teaching using the, okay. the new curriculum. Okay. So <coughs> this new curriculum has only reached standard, I mean grade four, what we call standard four. Yeah. So anything above grade four yeah. is still on 844, sure. meaning even the TTCs are still on grade four. Yeah. The universities are still using, I mean, a 844 kind of pedagogy. Yeah. So the new pedagogy has not even reached the higher levels. In, an, in a curriculum rollout, this is how you start. Yeah. And I wonder our viewers listen to this. Mm -hmm. You first start by changing the curriculum at the teacher's training college. Okay. You go to Eregi, Kericho Teachers College, uh, Shanzu TTC. Then you change the teaching methodology at Shanzu. Mm -hmm. So that the teachers who come out of Shanzu are now able to teach the new curriculum. Yeah. You can't pick people from the street like Amunga, an old dog like me, and you teach an old dog like me to, to, to do new tricks. I will not. I'll do what I've always done, yeah, yeah, which is 844. Okay. Eight four four. Magoa, we are teaching 844 four in our classes. Go to your home, to your village, and see the teacher in your village, what they are teaching. They are okay. teaching 844. Four. Okay. Now, uh, as expounding on this also, the, the You know, let media not yeah, be sure. lied to my okay. friends. Okay. You now, know, as expounding on this also, the language of the media is very, very clear. Um, uh, softening stance doesn't mean maybe you are actually... No, we are not right with the media. <laughs> you cannot tell us... The thing is, softened. softening stance just basically means for the first time in a long time, you're giving an ear to the government. That's it. This is the language. Okay. Now, looking at another perspective also, let's talk about the issue of even the morals. You know, we talk about CBC and morals. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. It, 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 it's, it's kind of very, very weird because now, um, uh, we're totally even teachers. Uh, you are very, very good at praying yes. at uh, students. Oh, come on. Teachers are not pedophiles. Pedophiles are also in church. We even, they are, they are everywhere. We're talking about the teachers. Now. No, teachers, we are uh, not. We don't participate let's leave the churches first. No, no, the teachers, teachers, we don't participate in that kind of uh, immoral <laughs> behavior. The truth of the matter is they like accusing us. The same media. Anytime a teacher is found in such a small mistake, the media comes up and says, Mualimu ame patikana na mtoto. But, 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 but you see, there's evidence. We've been having so yeah, many cases. Yeah, it's there. But so many those cases. are people who are, uh, what mm -hmm. we want to say is this. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it is unfortunate that such a thing can happen. Yeah. It happens. Mm -hmm. I don't say don't just want to say it happens. Okay, okay, happen. okay. It happens. Mm -hmm. And as not, we have set up a gender desk. I uh of school gender based violence at school at in school levels. Okay. This is a desk whereby we are training our teachers that if a child because by the way, some of these children say, even in those schools in the back in the machinani, yeah. Some of the parents even are are marrying off their small girls when they are still 13, even uh, 14. Okay, okay. So some, some of these things are cultural. Okay. You got some cultures, mm -hmm. a child, a, a girl child is married off when she's still very young. Okay. And now the teacher is also teaching those areas. Mm -hmm. So what I want to say is that we need also to talk about our cultures, mm -hmm. talk about how to educate these young girls to mm -hmm. know which are their, you know, how, how to protect themselves from a praying person, yeah. a person who may prey on them, mm -hmm. and not only a teacher. Even their parents, some of them are parents who are, who are very bad. Uh, even the pastors, we saw a, a story whereby pastors are doing these things. I, I, so I, we are also training our children okay. as teachers mm -hmm. to know how to protect themselves. Now, the CBC in connection, that's what I was getting there. Yes, yes. The, 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 the morality in the CBC, yes. and just trying to instill some knowledge to this young yes. girl, young girl, yes. not even a boy. Sometimes boys actually uh, go through a rough time also, but the majority are the girls. Yeah. Now, instilling that responsibility, you know, when you're growing up, by the, you know, and you know it very well when I'm younger, <laughs> yes. you cannot talk back to a teacher at the primary level, yes. even high school. Yeah. He, he'll actually whip you. That's the good question. Yeah. CBC is an American thing. You have seen those American classes in movies 
whereby a child is chewing gum and you cannot ask him. <laughs> but, but still, and that is the morals that CBC is bringing about. <laughs> CBC is bringing in things like even sex education. In, in, we, we are getting in, there. In, now, your child, yes. who is around um, 13 years old to yes. 12 years old, yes. or even 10,